Hi, everybody. My name is Joe Bladek, and thanks for joining Sam and I today on our next mortgage show. Today, we'll be talking about how real estate professionals can better serve Canadian consumers. But before we get into that, let me introduce today Sam Thompson. Sam Thompson is our mortgage agent here in Barry Simcoe County with Mega Mortgage. Welcome, Sam. How are you? I'm oh, good, Joe. How are you doing? Not too bad. I'm really looking forward to chatting about articles with you today. Yeah, I'm happy to be part of the show and looking at these articles with you. Thanks very much. So today we're going to be talking about, as I mentioned, how real estate professionals can better serve their Canadian customers. And with being in the current COVID market, I think this can really help all of our clients out. If you are looking to buy a home, make sure that you would pay attention because this could be really good information for you should you want to get started on a move this year through a pandemic. So let's get started. All right. So looking at the article here, it's a great article you found because with what's going on right now, it's definitely something that is really pertinent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember last year, everyone was looking at homes in person. Everyone was meeting us in person to sign their mortgages. Mm -hmm. I don't think I had ever done an e-sign mortgage until 2020 where we signed everything electronically. Mm -hmm. That's right. The industry has been changing at a wild pace throughout 2020 and 2021. And you've been lucky enough to be part of that wave of changes right from the very beginning. That's right. Yeah. 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 It's definitely been a very big change over season. And I think namely what this, this article is highlighting is how there is a lot of digital options that are available to, again, you know, help in, in the pandemic that we don't need to be meeting in person as much or doing these signings in person as much. Yeah. There's some stats here, Sam, that you were bringing up earlier when we looked at this article and I'm looking at some of these here, looking at some of these stats. Let's just point some of these out. 13% of people that were looking for their homes took a virtual tour of their properties. 8% conducted a live tour with the selling agent. And 11% reported signing documents electronically during the home buying process. So well, that's probably uh, record numbers because as I mentioned, we never signed a mortgage electronically until 2020. So that was huge for us. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Buying a home with a FaceTime tour. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely, yeah, definitely a, difference in in viewing it virtually as opposed to having that in person and that is fully understandable as it's a very big decision to make i think what this article is really trying to highlight is that some of the process where it doesn't need to be in person such as the signing of only 11 percent of home buyers doing it digitally i think there's areas for improvement moving forward to again keep that at a low rate and have the signing happening digitally and, and limiting the amount of exposure. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I think most people are looking for that right now with the in-person signings. I think that they are there still for the folks that are working in that industry that don't want to move to the electronic signing. But I'm finding right now that everyone that is signing mortgage papers or going through the process, they prefer to meet virtually. They prefer to meet me out of their own home or wherever they are at on a Zoom or FaceTime call. Wouldn't you say so, Sam? Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So just you and I being able to connect with all of our clients directly via video or phone or email or text directly that way, and then sign documents electronically, like you're saying, I think what we're doing is we're catering to what the market needs right now. Mm -hmm. And even though these stats say 11%, I think the public would like to probably see that upwards past 50% at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I know that we have realtor partners, real estate agents that have shown our clients homes via FaceTime tour and that they have put offers on that home via FaceTime tour. So I'm thinking that even though people aren't seeing the homes in person that real estate agents are going above and beyond to give and communicate that emotional feeling that someone would have walking into that home. 
over the video through their communication, however they're doing it, mm -hmm. you know, and then hopefully that will come across to folks the same way. So they feel it the same way as if they were walking into that room or that home. I think as we go through this pandemic, we'll see a lot of these numbers change, but this is really, really interesting stuff here. Mm -hmm. So what else do we have here? So looks like 84% of the people did not change their plans to move during the pandemic, even though there was a pandemic. Yeah. Wow. Wow. 57% surveyed were unsure about moving, but 84% still did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. With real estate professionals, if you are unsure and you're a client out there looking to get connected with a real estate professional that can help you through buying a home during COVID and this pandemic, I would suggest reaching out to Sam or myself, and then two of us can connect you to a realtor or real estate agent in your local market, wherever that is in Ontario, and get them working with you either virtually or electronic signing documents, whichever you prefer, because I think that will be the growing trend going forward. Mm -hmm, for sure. Thanks very much for joining us today. My name is Joe Bladick. I'm a mortgage broker here in the Barrie area, Simcoe County area. And uh, Sam, thanks for joining the show today as well. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later.